Today's video is going to be about a regiment of true heroes during the First World War. The Harlem Hellfighters were a regiment of infantrymen who were mostly black and gained a reputation for being one of the most fierce units to oppose on the battlefield. They became the first regiment to serve with the Expeditionary Forces during the First World War. They also suffered the most casualties of any American regiment, totalling at roughly 1,500. That's one in two of the men. They started out in 1913 serving as part of the New York Army National Guard, and it wasn't until 1915 that they were officially organised into the 369th Infantry. They trained for about two years and were called into active duty, travelling to South Carolina to partake in real combat situations. They were the victims of a lot of racism while stationed at their camp, and were often refused goods by shopkeepers in the town. Eventually, some members of another division told shopkeepers that they should leave town if they continue to refuse services to them so uh, shopkeepers eventually came to their senses and let them get on with their day on april 8th 1918 they were assigned to the french army due to many american soldiers refusing to fight or train with them due to the color of their skin they were issued French gear but continued to wear the American uniforms they arrived in. Luckily they were treated as equals by the French military uh, due to lack of manpower and this gave them the confidence that they really needed. They went into the trenches with the French 16th division and served for two months before being reassigned at one point. Uh, they were on tour for around six months which is the longest duration of any military unit during the First World War. They saw lots of propaganda from German forces stating that they would never harm or discriminate against them and thus they should change their allegiances and join up with Germany. However the Hellfighter's strength of character meant that this propaganda had the actual negative effect of making them more hateful towards Germans. On the 25th of September 1918, the 4th French Army mounted an offensive on Musargon. The Hellfighters sustained severe losses but managed to capture the village of Seychaux and were the fastest advancing units of the attack. Uh, apparently by the time the offensive was over, they had advanced around 9 miles into German territory further than any of the other units involved. A few months later, they also became the first Allied unit to reach the banks of the River Rhine and were relieved from active duty on December 12, 1918. They returned to New York with a crowd of well over a million people due to the fact that they were the first uh, American military unit to return home after the war was finished. Many men from the unit would uh, go on to receive a variety of honours. The most celebrated man was Private Henry Johnson, who along with Private Needham Roberts fought off a 24-man German patrol while both were severely injured. After they ran out of ammo, they used their rifles as clubs and Johnson eventually pulled out his bolo knife to defend himself. Reports of the time lead us to believe that Johnson killed four men and wounded over 30 others. This gave him the nickname, The Black Death. Although many soldiers received honours during the war, the majority of them went unnoticed. Johnson's, however, was the first American to receive the Quart de Guerre. Another 169 members of the Hellfighters were given this later on, with the whole unit receiving a citation on their uniform shortly after. In addition to all of this, they boasted some fine records during their time on the battlefield. In their 191 days of active combat, they never lost a foot of ground, never had a man taken prisoner, and only failed once to take an objective and even that was due to the fact that the French artillery made a massive mistake. I personally believe we should all learn at least the basic timeline of the First World War because it signifies an alliance and cooperation on an unprecedented scale at the time. We owe it to our ancestors to learn their stories of bravery, courage and heroism. The men that put their country before themselves and stepped up to do what was right and defend their freedom. The Harlem Hellfighters are a truly incredible inspiration because they were standing up for a country that really didn't accept them for the most part. Despite constant racism, propaganda and mistreatment, they still had the resolve and the strength of character to carry on and fight for what they believed is right, which is so commendable. Despite their heavy casualties, the bias against them and for nothing more than the colour of their skin and the labour duty that they were assigned upon arriving in France, they fought for their country and created a legacy. History is vital to learn about in my opinion as it tells us the stories and experiences of those who didn't get the luxuries we have today. Many were constantly looked down upon for ridiculous reasons, fighting for each other and the pride of being Americans. I'll wrap this video up with a quote which originates from the day the Hellfighters returned to the state. I'd like to thank you beforehand all for taking the time out of your day to what and if you couldn't tell this was a very very scripted episode. I'm trying to go a bit more off script and riff a bit more but I'll get into that in another video. Anyway, so I'll leave you this. Up the wide avenue they swung, their smiles outshone the golden sunlight, and every line, proud chests expanded beneath the medals valour had won. The impassioned cheering of the crowds massed along the way drowned the blaring cadence of their former jazz band. The old 15th was on parade and New York turned out to tender its dark-skinned heroes a New York welcome.